practicing yoga just gave me that opportunity to look inward, find more peace and acceptance within myself, and that's what has brought me back to it uh, every day. My full-time job is a high school teacher. I teach English at a private boys' school in Vancouver. And when I'm not teaching high school, I'm teaching yoga about once or twice a week at Oxygen Yoga and Fitness. I've seriously been practicing for about two years, uh, but before that I was doing Bikram yoga for about eight years before that, but not seriously. So there would be times where I'd practice um, every day and then other times like once a month. So yoga wasn't that important to me until about two years ago. Initially I went to yoga for the fitness um, elements of it because it was challenging, especially Bikram yoga was really um, quite intense with the heat and I enjoyed the, the challenge aspect of it, but eventually I found that I needed a lot more meditation and stillness in my life. For beginners, I would say um, go to a half a class um, at a studio and give it about a month so that you start to learn the postures. Um, yoga can be overwhelming, especially when you see some of the videos or uh, the posts out there about all the crazy things like handstands and um, flexibility, but, but really just, um, just going, meditating, learning more about your body, getting into your body and your mind. Um, doesn't have to be fancy at all. And so just um, starting slow and um, giving yourself the time to immerse into it um, with a half a class probably is what I would recommend. I find so many benefits um, off of the mat. So even when I'm practicing on the mat, I'm challenging myself and I'm improving and that's a wonderful feeling in itself. But what's really exciting is uh, when I notice the, the benefits in my life off of the mat. So just how I'm able to confront challenges um, and not stress the way that I used to in the past. So just finding a sense of peace and calm in my everyday life.